Hi everyone, it's me, Madam Pamita, with another question from the Live Magic Q&A Tea Party. This clip was from a past tea party and it's an amazing question. I bet you have an amazing question too. If you do, why don't you join me? Go to spellsquad.com, sign up, and you'll get the link to join me live over Zoom and ask your question. Not only that, but you'll get some other goodies, including a coupon for the Parlor of Wonders. Oh my goodness. So go to spellsquad.com, sign up, and join me. I'd love to see you there. And now for our question. Nerf says, what spells would be more favorable to work this coming week before the new moon? Okay, so anytime, you know, what comes to mind for me is anytime before a new moon is a great time for releasing stuff. So think about what you're going to be working on at the new moon. Is it the money frog? Are you going to be working on something else? You know, are you, what are you going to be doing in the upcoming new moon? And then think about what you'd like to release. So we're just going to go with, let's say that you're doing the the new moon spell, which is the money, the Virgo money frog, the lucky money frog. So that's for attracting prosperity into your life. So what would you get rid of to remove prosperity? Well, a good thing to remove, uh, remove is like bad luck around money, fear around money, anxiety around money, poverty mentality, um, uh, worry about money, anything that you don't want to bring into the spell. This is a great time to release it. What can you do? Sense yourself with burning bundle of herbs, sometimes called a smudge stick, bundle of herbs, dried herbs, light it up, smudge yourself with that, sense yourself with that. Or you can also take a cleansing bath to release and remove. You could also do a candle to release and remove using Van Van oil or uncrossing oil or you know any of the energetic purification oil, any of those cleansing clearing oils would be great.